So I got a neat little package in the mail. Um, Capricorn Bowden tubes. These are, we all know, Tronxy, CR10, uh, they're all Bowden style printers and the idea is that the uh, printer, the, the filament is going from the extruder down to the hot end to a tube. And a few things on the tubes are, first off, the high temp portion, the portion that goes into the hot end, if you're too aggressive with the heat on your nozzle, you can actually melt it. So that's one thing that kind of limits you as to what your temperatures can be. Um, and if not, it ends up melting and deforming and causing issues. Another thing about it is the diameter impacts the resistance of the filament going through as well as the material because as your filament is going through the extruder there's going to be little notches cut into it from your extruder gear. Um, and the more friction you have the harder it is to push through so your harder your extruder motor has to work to push the filament through. Well, then you also get into flex filament, and the more room flex filament has to move around, the more it kinks, the more friction you have, yada, yada, yada. So anyway, that's kind of the point of Capricorn, is it's, this is the Pro, I believe, or X, T, X, I can't remember which one I got. Um, there was two versions. There was the one that you can't see through at all, which is higher temp and slippier, but the diameter, the inner diameter is a little bit smaller because the main purpose of this is I'm trying to print flexible filament better on the CR10. But I just had an issue on the Tronxy where the Bowden tube was difficult to get out because I had left some filament in the uh, in the printer and of course like sometimes the PLA does it starts getting really really brittle it had broken off and I couldn't get it hold of it to actually pull the filament up. Um, so then I had to take the tube apart and all the fittings off just to be able to get the filament out. And of course, awesome by the way, safety note. In the meantime, I kind of forgot what I was doing and uh, kind of grabbed the hot end. <laughs> just so you're not, a, if you're aware, they're hot. Um, so anywho, that's why I bought it. That's what I'm doing with it. Uh, and in the kit, of course, this is the world's finest 3D printer Bowden tube. So it's really just a high-end PTFE tubing. Um, that's got a little closer nozzle. And part of that that comes with it, I bought like the kit thing, is um, I bought four new fittings that um, ho hopefully are a little bit higher higher quality if you can see this is it's actually spring loaded so they're much higher quality and I'm hoping this helps them make sure I've never had one pop out but I've always kind of been um, concerned about it uh, so we'll see see how it works out uh, anyways tubing cutter always helps makes nice straight edges and that's uh, allows you to have a better seal at the nozzle um, and then stickers so I'll let you know I'll get it all installed and uh, we'll give you a picture of it and then we'll see how it prints okay we got it installed um, literally took a minute or two um, it's very very simple and you can see this of course is your Bowden tube just cut some couple little tie wraps You've got the uh, connector right here. You can uh, you back out, and then the one that goes into the hot end, you back out. Make sure you don't burn yourself. It hurts. Um, and then rinse and repeat. Put the connector back in. Um, one tip that I would say is that you slide the tube through the fitting first until it's longer, and then you make sure it's fully seated, and then you slide the connector down and then tighten it down so it's tightening it and pulling it down as it goes because you don't want any air gap between the end of this tubing and the hot end. That, that fit needs to be really really good which is why they, they recommend using 
the cutters to give you a nice flat end. Um, so then once you have that nice and snug, all you got to do is push it in this other side. This one's spring loaded. Um, if you look like on a CR10, you can see there's a clip um, that comes with the E3V6 to keep that collar up because it, if it wants to drop down, that's when your Bowden tube can pop out. So, anywho, yeah, this is uh, printing another shroud or a little fan duct that I broke on the Troxy so I can get this one fixed up again. Um, but anyways, I'll do another video on that. So anyways, there you go, Bowden tube. We'll see how it prints and I'll let you know. Have a good day.